So before this video start, I did do a little bit more research and it's going to co contradict a little bit of something I said in the video. So this image that I am going to provide was done by glitched garbage on um, on Instagram. I'm seeing it now that I'm doing a look. I actually pulled the image up to add it to the video. Glitched garbage is the people that uh, <laughs> designed this uh, image that I'm going to put up. So um, yeah. Fit a name. <laughs> yeah, man. Ha! A lot of y'all, man, I appreciate y'all. Number one, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, each and every one of y'all. A lot of y'all hitting me up and wanting to know my opinion on this quote unquote news that dropped a few days ago, probably about a week now, probably been out for a week. Um, I'm upset. I'm mad. I'm pissed off. I'm a little frustrated with the sneaker. I don't want to say community. This ain't really no community like that no more. The sneaker uh, scene right now, if you will, about the way people grab on the stuff, get a hope to it, and be like, you know what? I'm going to run with this, man. I'm going to run a, 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 a 440. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get the hell on. Pew, out of here. Hey, you talking about? Because that's what y'all like to do. Y'all like to grab stuff and just run with it, man. Um, And I'm going to get to why I'm upset about this in a minute. But the upcoming... Air Jordan collab with your boy Travis Scott, aka Cactus Jack. Now y'all know what my favorite silhouette is. I talk about it all the time. If you are new to the channel and you don't know, my favorite Air Jordan silhouette and my favorite number one, my favorite sneakers all of all time is the Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux. 1992, you feel me? Just I was 10 years old. That was one of my first Jordans I got. I love that shoe. Got history with it. I love the color blocking. I love the silhouette, the shape of the shoe. All that stuff. Got history with the Jordan 7s. Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux is my favorite Jordan of all time. And the Air Jordan 7, 7 silhouette, unpopular opinion, as I already know, is my favorite um, silhouette of all time. Been saying it since 2014 on this platform since I first started my YouTube channel. I've been saying it forever. I love Air Jordan 7s. Always had a place in my heart for Air Jordan 7s. They never really returned back to the OG shape, which would be dope if they did that for this collab. But if they don't, it is what it is. Uh, the most recent one is the Air Jordan 7 Citrus, which is very close to the OG shape. So I will give it that. Um, not quite on spot on, but very close. Um, but the, the piece of information that we got about this shoe... Let's go to the source of the information what we got about this shoe. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to lead me to my next point of why I'm upset. Let's go to the source for the information that we got about this shoe. It's only a tweet. From all the research I've done, and my research is not very extensive because I don't have time to go through multiple lanes of research for these situations, but from the research I did, it's only a tweet that dropped. Apparently, y'all trust this person who dropped this tweet because all of the uh, blog sites for sneakers are going with this tweet. Now, this is a tweet from somebody named P.O. underscore P.O. 2345 on Twitter. Drop this tweet. Apparently, he's somebody who knows about the sneaker game in the Houston area and the going zone. Maybe he knows Travis Scott. Like I said, my, my research ain't that damn extensive. But what he said, and this is supposed to be trusted because he he actually, um, then he also actually tagged Jumpman23, which is Jordan Brand, uh, Nike, which is Nike, uh, and then Travis XX, which is Travis Scott. Let's go ahead and get into the tweet. As the partnership between Jumpman23, Nike, and Travis Scott is likely to continue and see, he said likely. He don't know this stuff, but he's saying this is what he feels is going to drop. This is what he feels is going to happen. He has some kind of sources to know what's going to happen. Expect this dynamic unit to explore a new realm of possibilities in the future. This time, the Air Jordan 7, and for the first time, a whole new shoe with an entirely new design from Houston's own. So it's saying, okay, Air Jordan 7. For the first time, we're doing a collab with Travis Scott, Cactus Jack, if you will. This is the first, so this is the first out of maybe many, it said for the first time, first out of maybe many Air Jordan 7 Travis Scott collabs. So, oh my God, did y'all read the tweet? Y'all are looking at a mock-up image and everybody got opinions on it all ready. Stop getting stuff and running with it. 
the person who designed this mock-up, I'm sure you're in the sneakers. And you might be watching my video, you might not. I'm not for everybody. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. You feel me? But if you are, congratulations for making a lot of people in the sneaker, like I said, seen, think that this is actually what the shoe was going to look like. Because if you read the tweet, most of the time when you drop a mock-up of a sneaker, it's based on a, a specific color spectrum, a color code being dropped, or color blocking, or a, some kind of detail of how the design of the shoe is going to look. Most time you get a mock-up, people actually have something that is based off of. The only information from what I'm looking at that we have the base this Travis Scott Air Jordan 7 off of is this one tweet that says... A new shoe with an entirely new design from Houston's own. Now, what I'm thinking is, because I'm, I'm, I'm now that I'm reading over it again, it said Air Jordan 7 and, for the first time, a new shoe with an, with an entirely not, uh, new design from Houston's own. So, at first I'm thinking that the Air Jordan 7 will be an entirely new design. But when I read the tweet over again, Air Jordan 7 and... And for the first time, a new shoe with an entirely new design of, uh, from Houston's own. That means we're getting two shoes from Nike and Cactus, Cactus Jack. And I just, and even me, I was finna put out some information that wasn't 100% accurate. But from reading the tweet over again, I'm realizing that it's not just one shoe. It's gonna be an Air Jordan 7. So maybe the Air Jordan 7 is not an entirely new design because it is an Air Jordan 7 that has pre existing design already. So. It's going to be a Jordan 7. It's just going to be his spin on the 7. And we're going to get a whole other shoe that's just going to be a literal Travis Scott Nike collab. Or not even collab. Just Tra Travis Scott Nike shoe. A new whole design. So now that I'm thinking about that, that's actually something else to look forward to. There's two shoes to look forward to. But, so that made me not as mad as I was before. Because when, when I was thinking a whole new design of a Travis Scott Jordan 7, I'm thinking, okay, it ain't going to be nothing like the collabs of the past. So I might be a little bit wrong when it comes to this, but I said that to lead to my point. From reading that tweet before, what I was going to say is, this shoe does not, is not going to have any design elements from the previous Travis Scott Air Jordan collabs. Now, I might be wrong about that, but just by going out this mock-up, we don't have anything to base this mock-up off of. This, If you really look close to this mock-up, it's actually a Jordan 7 K54 sneaker, which is a red, uh, blue, red, and white sneaker. If y'all look up the K54 Jordan 7s, I reviewed them on this channel. This mock-up is actually that shoe painted brown in some kind of software, printed brown and a backward swoosh added. In my opinion, I don't know what the shoe gonna look like, I don't know what the sneaker element's gonna have, but this shoe will not. And I could be wrong, y'all could be looking at this from the future saying, Rich, you were wrong in hell, this shoe do have it. This shoe ain't gonna have no backward swoosh. Every Air Jordan collab from Cactus Jack has that has had a backward swoosh has already had an existing swoosh on the original silhouette. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? Uh, backward swoosh on anything that had a backward swoosh on it, which is the Jordan 1, I think the, uh, the Air Max 1's had a backward swoosh. Anything that has had a backward swoosh on it from Mike, from um, Air Jordan and Travis Scott has already had a swoosh on it. The Jordan 6's and the Jordan 4's do not have swooshes on them, and the Travis Scott 6's and the Travis Scott 4's do not have swooshes on them. I'm willing to bet that the Travis Scott Cactus Jack Air Jordan 7 is not going to have a backward swoosh on it. So let's get that backward swoosh out of the way. Now, as far as the shoe being brown, in my opinion, now thinking about all of the shoes that have dropped, the only shoes has, that has had this mocha brown color is the Jordan 1's. Am I right or wrong? The Jordan 1 lows and the Jordan 1 highs. Am I right or wrong about the collabs between uh, Cactus Jack and Jordan Brand? The only one has, has, that has had that mocha color, I think this person is just, whoever designed this mock-up is going off of, or oh, they always using brown. They always black swooshes on stuff. This is the most popular elements of, tra of the uh, collab, so this is what I'm going to put on my mock-up. I'm willing to bet that the actual shoe, when we first get real images of the sneaker, and like I said, I'm not knocking this. This is creative. He going off what he's seen. Whoever, like I said, I thought it was House of Heat at first, House of Heat, but I looked at House of Heat, and they usually do a lot of mock ups. They didn't do it. And I looked at Z Sneakerheads, and I don't think they did this mock up either, so I don't really know who did this mock up. But 
I'm not knocking their creativity. I'm just saying they're going off of the most popular elements, Mocha Brown, Reverse Swoosh, that we've seen on uh, the collabs. You know what I'm saying? The most popular elements. So anyway, hopefully we'll get some more collabs from... Um, and so, and so look, by reading that tweet again, I don't know if that means we're going to get more than one um, uh, Jordan 7 from him. Hopefully we get at least two Jordan 7s from him. Um, but hopefully, you know what I'm saying, he's going to add some new design elements. You look at the Air Max 1, you look at some of the trainers he did, he has put different design elements in his shoe uh, collabs with Jordan brand. And each of them look different. The Forest don't have a whole lot done to it. It's just a mix-up of branding and a mix-up of color blocking, but it's still an Air Jordan 4. Jordan 6 had a couple of more things done to it, like that pocket put at the top, which, like I said, they poured and tried to put on his 7 and a backward swoosh. They got elements from other stuff and added it to this Jordan 7. I honestly don't think... I think Jordan 7 is going to have something unique to this collab, and it's not going to have stuff that the seven, the 6s had. It ain't going to have stuff that the Jordan 1s had, and it's not going to have stuff that the 4s had. It might have some similar color blocking, and I'm not saying the shoe ain't going to be brown because y'all know Travis Scott loves brown. You feel me? He loves brown. This is a Travis Scott shirt I got on now. When the PS5 uh, Travis Scott, whatever, or PS4, whatever it was, that's what this shirt is. Brown. He loves brown, so we know he loves brown. So it might be brown. I'm not saying it's not going to be brown, but I, I doubt it's going to have this backward swoosh. You look closely at the tongue on this, it has the uh, stripes on the tongue. That comes from the K54. It's not going to have those stripes on the tongue. I might have the Cactus Jack logo. I'm pretty sure it's going to have that somewhere, but this is not the shoe. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't what it gonna look like. So calm down because I'm seeing. I'm t at first I wasn't gonna drop this vid until I started seeing all the damn comments are under everybody who posts this image and they tag me in it. So I gotta talk about it. People tag me in it over and over and over and over again. I say I gotta make a video about it. Shoot, sure, this ain't it, y'all. This ain't what the shoe gonna look like. Now, when they drop official images of the shoe, I will be coming back and doing another video and tell y'all what I think about the official images. But for now, calm down, y'all. Calm down. These ain't it. Now, I know a lot of people probably thought I was going to be like, he going to be upset because all these new Air Jordan 7 heads going to come out of nowhere because of the hype. That don't even bother me. That's just a part of the machine at this point. Back in the day, that would have bothered me because... I, me and a couple of other people is the only one hollering. We love Jordan 7s. I love Jordan 7s. Regardless of what everybody else saying about it. Saying it looked too much like the True Flight 7, which is BS. That's a, to me, that's a dumb reason not like Air Jordan 7. Air Jordan 7 been around since 1992. Um, it's an OG silhouette. When you sit there and compare it to a Team Jordan that they made to kind of try to look like the Air Jordan 7. You can't even say that's the reason. Because how many of these Air Jordan nothings... Look like Jordan 11s, Jordan 12s, Jordan 11 lows and stuff like that. It's just that they took a little bit too many elements from the Air Jordan 7 and made their true flight and then just made it and then just splashed it with some ugly. So I hate that shoe myself, but if for people to say that's the reason they don't like Jordan 7s, it's stupid to me. That's just my opinion. You feel me? So anyway... I'm not madder than all of a sudden people saying I've been on Jordan 7s forever. I've always liked Jordan 7s. Man, I want to put y'all on Jordan 7. When those people come out the woodwork, I will understand that the hype moves mysteriously and, mysteriously, and that's a part of the hype machine. It is what it is, you feel me? Anyway, I don't talk a long ass time about this. I got all my points out, I think. I was thinking about a few things I was going to say, and I think I pretty much got all this stuff out in the video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below and tell me what y'all think about the mock-up and tell me what you actually think the shoe is going to look like when it drops. Nobody knows. We ain't got nothing to base it off of but that tweet. If y'all got any more information that is going to be that we should base this sneaker off of, leave that below. Leave a link. Let me know. Maybe it's some stuff I missed out on. Like I said, my research is not exten extensive because I go to work. I do a lot of stuff, man. You feel me? So anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I forgot to tell everybody. I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yes, I'm rich, M, I K E, you know me, OG, only, real, no phony, ATL, homie, shot my boy T, YFHB, Icy Mint Freeze, on my free throw line three, Mike, rich, no hype, just kiss, Mike, rich, no hype, just kiss, Mike, rich, no hype.
no hype, just kick Jordan 6 in my 80s.